Hey guys, it's Zayang and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pretty fun video, I hope, because I have never done anything like this before. So today I'm actually going to be doing the I tried following a particular YouTuber's makeup tutorial. And I have decided to follow Kathleen Light's makeup tutorial and it's simply because I love her so so much and also because of the fact that I want to use this Jaclyn Hill palette um, which I already own like since late last year. I love Kathleen Lights and I thought that I want to do something that is out of my comfort zone because I've never done anything like this before. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's just get on with the video. I'm just priming my eyelids with some concealer. Okay, so she has already done her brows which is what I've already done. So she actually just primed her eyelid using a concealer which I don't normally like to do first. Okay, so just gonna blend it out. And I realized that this video, right, she actually went pretty quickly because the video is under 10 minutes. Next. And now I'm gonna take the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna take this shade and on a fluffy crease brush, I am just gonna buff this into my crease. I'm really okay, wait, 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 here. wait, don't, don't, don't go too fast, okay. This shade which she used and concentrate that on my crease. She goes really fast in this video, so I have to like keep pausing okay is that all higher crease i'm not being precise with this or anything okay. i just want it all up in there okay and then i'm going to take this color right here i know all of these hey wait what names, which color no is that where I put wait, 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 wait. right here i know all of these oh. shades have names but i have no idea so i am buffing this color in my crease as well but i'm being a little bit more precise with this one and not blowing it out so much okay wait and hold I'm on okay so i'm going to take that color and she applied it here and a little bit in the inner corners. Oh my god, this is already turning into a disaster. <laughs> god, filming this and doing it and watching it at the same time is hard. It's like I'm doing three things at one time. This is like a disaster already. Okay, okay, okay. I can do this. I can do this. This delicious blue color and I'm going to pack this on my entire lid. Okay. Okay, the color is not that intense. So she's just applying it on her lid. Oh my god, is it easier if I use my finger? Oh my god, yeah, so much better. Oh, but I'm feeling her tutorial, right? So I have to use my brush or so. Oh god. This is so stressful. Oh my god, so much faster with your finger. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Did she apply it everywhere? I love how this like reddish color looks like okay, almost. Mm. So I am packing this color into my crease. I'm actually putting a lot of this color down. Okay, um I think she started here. She went in all the way in. see the contrast of the blue and the red so I'm applying a lot of it and then slowly diffusing it into my crease kind of like dragging it up and making it a little bit more smoky and faded okay hold on okay so I'm using the right color right correct correct this, correct like, <laughs> I am totally gonna butcher this look man I can't I can't even I can't why does she make it so easy? Why? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna like blend it out first because I think I applied way too much of it. So, and also because of the fact that the color is very intense right now. So, okay, it's like a slightly pointed brush with that it's red kind of color. Like a sandwich color in between the blue and the red, just so that everything. Okay, can. Between the blue and the red. She called it the sandwich color. Mm hmm. How does it look on camera, guys? <laughs> this is like my first time playing with this kind of bright, bold colours. So I am really not used to it yet. Uh, but we'll make it work. Why does she make it so easy? Okay, again, then. Blends nicely and there are no harsh lines. Blend and no harsh lines, okay. Let's blend. 
I'm getting really irritated with all of these media seeds that I have on my eyes. I really need to get them removed. Ah, <sighs> so annoying. Okay, can. I'm gonna go back into the blue and intensify it, of course, because when you... Okay, okay, I'm gonna go back to the blue and intensify the colour a little bit more. I have the feeling that this colour, right, if I wet it, it will look more intense. It will lose its intensity. So I'm just packing that colour again and same goes with this red shade. I'm just attempt intensifying it a little bit more. Let's do that. <laughs> ah, okay. To that crease colour I used. I am just using this to diffuse any harsh lines right up in there. Okay, so I'm just going to go back and diffuse any harsh lines in there. Oh god. You see like all of this is like really orange when it's not even supposed to. to go with this color versus the black because this one was a little more purpley so I'm using this to deepen out the outer corners and make it you know sultrier, deeper, smokier, sexier, you know, all the years, porterish. Let's do that. Just like intensifying the outer corner of that color so let's just do that. Oh my god, this is a disaster! I like, so I took the Balm Nude Beach palette and I dipped it into the shade Brilliant. Okay, I don't have the Balm palette, so I'm just gonna make use of my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and just gonna make use of this shade over here. Okay, yeah, how come this color never come out one? Okay, okay. I don't normally do this. I don't like to highlight my brow bone. I don't know why. But I know that it does make a lot of difference. Matte shade done. I went in with the first shade in the palette, but I didn't want to apply too much because as you can see, my brows are wolfing and I don't want to bring too much attention. Okay, okay, again. So now she wants to put shimmer la pula. God, I don't... Guys, I really don't know how to put on like a brow colour, you know, like... Sometimes I wonder, is it too much? Is it too little? Because I don't normally do this on myself. Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I took a brush with no additional product and I just blended out my crease some more. Okay, and now okay, okay wait, 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 wait. Okay, she blended it out. I hope this is fine. Okay, you know what? My eyes is crazy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take like a wet wipe and just remove everything that is at the bottom. Okay, Ken. Okay, what else now? This is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. Okay, I do not have that but I guess the closest it is to that is the Benefit Professional Primer. See, I drop everything. Everything. Okay, she put here, here, I think, here. Oh, everywhere lah. Kind of annoyed by the look of this. So I am gonna just blend this out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then I took the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. She actually used the Hourglass Foundation, which I have. I have two of them. But neither of this is actually my shade. So I guess I am going to just go with sand. I hope this works on me right now. Not sure whether it's even too dark or too light on me. Uh, it's a bit too yellow. But hopefully I can make this work. I'm not sure about this foundation though actually. Like a lot of people say that they love the foundation. Um, and I think it will work best for people with dry to normal skin. It feels really nice on the skin though. 
but I don't know. I can't I can't wear it out for too long because I'll just look like a crease ball. But it it blends like a dream, of course. And the coverage, oh my god, the coverage, the coverage, whoa. This is not a first impression. I seldom use this one. Whoa, I look so white. Oh, the coverage is awesome, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. And now for concealer, I'm just going to take my usual tart shape tape. Okay, this she actually lightly. used the shortcut, uh, the, the tart shape tape, and I'm actually going to do that as well. I'm gonna blend it under the eye. Okay, I'm just gonna use the foundation brush that I use to blend out the foundation. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I'll just rig it up with a little bit. I wanna use my, my sponge, but I haven't wet it. Tapala, just do it. Huh? Oh, looks good. Okay, the other side. Okay, where else did she put? And I'm just buffing that underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. And then to set that down, I took the new okay, cap that's on. all. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. She actually used the Kat Von D powder, but I don't have it. So, oh, I only have the loose powder. So I'm actually just going to do that right now. I don't have the blot powder, so I'm just going to use the loose powder uh, to just set the under eye concealer. Just going to bring up the excess product up to my forehead. Okay, and I realized that she did not set her the rest of the makeup on her face, but I am going to do that because I am an oil reek. So I'm just going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to do that and just set it everywhere else. To finish okay. up the eyes, I just took this shade again and I popped that in my inner corners. Okay, so she actually applied that colour on the inner corners. So I'm going to do that as well. And then I just took the M Cosmetics new black eyeliner. It is amazing. It took me forever to take it off. Which is a good thing. So Okay, so she actually used a pencil liner to line her tight line to tight line her eyes. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, when was the last time I ever did that? Eh eh I can't tell it's a Eh 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 Okay did the sign. Oh my god, I think the last time I did this was like when I was 18 years old. I don't usually tight line my eyes, guys. On her tight line as well. Oh my god, I'm so not used to. Okay, let's just use this. Oh, a bit too much though. Haha. <laughs> This is from Tarte by the way. This is a Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes if you're wondering. Okay, moving on. And then I took, I forgot to show you a little clip, but I took the first shade we ever used in the crease. And I'm using the first shade we ever used in the crease. So it should be the third color. Okay. Okay then. And I'm pretty much going to just use all the colors I used in my crease originally on my lower lash line. Like it's like as though I'm digging my eyes. Okay, some more. So I took this shade again, and on a different pencil brush, I just smudged this on my lower lash line as well. And I'm gonna be repeating this step with all the other shades. All the other shades means it's this orange, and that other orange color. With 
this darker color, I'm only going to focus this on the outer corners of my lower lash line just so that they can match my lid color. Okay, so she actually used this dark brown color and apply it at the outer corners only. Is it like that? Oh, I also applied some more eyeliner to my waterline just to intensify it a bit. Okay, so she applied a little bit more eyeliner, a little bit more under her eye. I mean, on her waterline. And then off camera, I applied some mascara and some falsies. Okay, mascara and falsies, so... I'll be doing that also and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back with my lashes on and in case if you're wondering, I'm actually using the one from Elise in... 4699. The one that Kathleen used is actually quite um, wispy. I don't have anything wispy with me right now, um, so I'm just gonna make do with what I have. Finish up the face, I'm gonna contour my skin. I'm gonna take the. Oh, I wanted to take my hoops off because they were driving me bananas, and then I forgot to put them back on. But anyway, I took the contour blush by NARS in the shade Talia. Okay, I do not have that, so I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette using the color in the middle. Apply it bronze up my skin or rather contour my skin using that oh, i'm actually using the elf uh, flawless face brush the one that i hauled in my previous video the iherb haul i like it it's really soft it's nice it picks up product well and then i decided to bronze the skin with my Too faced sweethearts bronzer in sweet pea or sweet tea i have that I'm gonna use the same brush whatever I don't know what's the difference though. Huh? I used to love this so much, like I use it so much, but now I don't know why I stopped using it. Oh my god, I love this brush. Should I just keep it for myself? This is actually for my makeup kit by the way, but I love this brush so much. And then I took the Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade First Love and I just popped this on my cheeks. I picked this blush because I didn't want anything that was going to clash with my eye makeup since it... Okay, I don't have that product. So I'm just going to use uh, something similar. This is Max Melba. I'm going to apply it at the apples of my cheeks. No, on my cheeks actually. Oh, nice. I like it. And then I busted out a highlight I haven't used in a long, long time. This is MAC Give Me Snow. I was going to say Give Me Snow. Okay, so I don't have the Soft and Gentle, so I'm just going to use my Becca Champagne Pop, which has dropped a gazillion times. Okay, so she applied it here. And here. Mm. I can actually understand why people really like this. It's so pretty, but it's so unfortunate that it breaks out on me. And I just applied this to the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit on my nose to highlight. Oh, pretty. Okay. Oh god, wow, that's so pretty. And then for my lip color, I took the NARS Velvet Gloss lip pencil. Okay, I obviously do not have that. I do not have any glosses as well. So I'm just going to use a really nice nude color on my lips. What is this? This is Tati's Quick Dry Lip Paint in Low Key. So is there anything else, Kathleen? In the shade Buenos Aires. And I really, really love this. I just picked this up from Sephora and it's such a pretty glossy nude. But yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys. We are done. Oh my god. Okay, let me just go and get my hair fixed and I'll be right back. Alright, so I am back and I got my hair done and I even put this on just because Kathleen actually do or in that video. Let me just be very honest with you, okay? I am very happy at how this look turns out. Like, I didn't expect it to look like that or like this uh, while I was actually doing the, uh, the the makeup itself. Just leave a comment below uh, telling me how you think about this look and how do you think I did. So just let me know if you want to see me doing or like following any other YouTubers tutorials and who it is and which video it is exactly. I'll try my very best to recreate them but I really really like 
doing this video it's so fun so if you have enjoyed watching this video just hit that thumbs up button i really enjoyed myself filming this is so fun and of course if you have not subscribed to my channel just hit the subscribe button to see more contents from me so thank you guys so much for watching um i'll catch you guys in my next one bye